Hello there everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take apart and replace the glass LCD screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy S9. Welcome to Cellular Pros, in this channel we do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you're new to the channel I welcome you to subscribe. Alright guys, let's go right to the video now. Okay, so first off, let's make sure that the phone is powered off. If not, then power it off. Next up, we're going to need to give it some heat in the, on the back cover with either a hairdryer or heat gun. If you're going to use a heat gun, make sure to move around consistently, not staying in one spot so that you don't burn the inside of the phone. Or you can set it on a hot plate, which is what I prefer to use, as I'm going to show you here. And I set it to about 110 to 115 degrees Celsius and leave it on there for a few minutes until it's hot enough. And keep in mind that we will have a link in the description where you can buy the parts and tools used for this repair. So here's some of the tools we're going to be using. We're going to be using a suction cup. We're going to be using uh, some guitar picks. So once you feel the phone is hot enough, you may want to get it. We can also use a folded business card as well as a prying tool. All right, so let's go ahead and get the phone uh, while it's hot. And we're gonna place the suction cup towards the bottom here and we're gonna give it some suction until we see a slight opening in between the glass and the metal frame of the phone. So continue to pull up gently on the suction cup till you see a small separation opening up. If you see that the phone starts cooling down, don't be afraid to give it some more heat so that the adhesive loosens up more. So as you can see, now we're starting to see the separation here. I'm going to stick the guitar pick inside now. And there we go. So just gently push in the pick. And once it's in there, you can remove the suction cup. So I'm going to use the help of another pick here. You can use as many as you want. I'm going to use this one to wedge it in on this side of the back cover. So I'm going to use a third pick here because uh, I'm doing this very carefully. We're going to go slowly down each side with each of the picks. But first, I'm going to give it some more heat as well to loosen up the adhesive. So here we go. Now that I heated it up some more, I'm going to continue to go downwards on each side. As you can see, the pick is moving uh, easier down the side. So continue to work downwards and take your time. Don't rush it so you don't break the back cover if it's not broken. Once most of the back cover is removed, you can start pulling up from the bottom and most of the adhesive will release. And then next thing you may want to do is wiggle it around a little bit to release any uh, leftover adhesive on there and the back cover will come off completely. Also remember to be careful with this flex cable that connects the fingerprint scanner to the phone. So with the back cover now out of the way, the next step is to remove the 15 small Phillips head screws holding on the back frame of the phone. So with a small Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to go ahead and remove that next. Next up, we're going to need to remove the back plastic housings here. So we're going to give them some pressure upwards. Uh, you can do it with the prying tool or with your fingernail. Uh, be careful with uh, this antenna cable here for the wireless charger pull up on the plastic gently and it will come right out it might have some adhesive still holding it on but you can pull that right off so next up we're gonna pull up on the bottom part here which is the loudspeaker so we're gonna need to uh, give it some pressure upwards as well and remove the adhesive holding it on there If the adhesive comes up a bit, just place it back down around the edges where it was before. Okay, so once that is done, next step is we need to disconnect the battery flex cable to stop any electricity from flowing through the phone. Then let's disconnect the LCD cable, flex cable, which you see right here. If all you need to do is replace the LCD screen assembly, then here you would have to heat up the old screen assembly here with the hair dryer again, heat gun. And once it's hot enough, you're going to pry up on the glass and LCD screen here, and we're going to pull it off completely so that we can place the new one in. 
Okay, but let's go ahead and continue with this take apart tutorial. So next up is we're gonna need to heat up the phone once again on the screen uh, until it's hot enough so that we can pry up on the battery here and remove it completely. Next up, we're gonna need to remove another Phillips head screw here holding down the motherboard. We need to go ahead and remove the SIM card tray if you haven't done so already, so let's remove that now. So now we can go ahead and disconnect the flex cable over here for the volume button. Disconnect the flex cable at the top for the front selfie camera. And the this antenna connector down here as well, which goes connected to the charger port. Let's go ahead and disconnect all of the antennas at the bottom connected to the charger port. Once you have those cables connected, we can go ahead and lift up on the motherboard. Stick a prying tool under it, like the guitar pick. Or you can wedge it up with your fingers as well. So wiggle the motherboard around and it will come right out. Remember, there is one more flex cable connected on the bottom, the charger port connector. So remove that and the motherboard comes out completely. So next up, we need to remove the charger port. So there's going to be five small Phillips head screws holding it down. So let's get the Phillips head screwdriver and remove those now. Once you have all the screws removed, we need to begin pulling up on the charger port. So we're going to begin with this uh, thin antenna cable here. As you can see, wedge uh, something thin, preferably plastic, in between it to release the adhesive holding it down. And it comes out. Just pull it out a little bit because it is attached to the charger port. Once you have that out, we can go ahead and begin to pull up on the charger port, giving it some pressure, releasing the adhesive. And also make sure to pull out the antennas from the brackets holding them down. And last, we're going to need to pry up around the headphone jack area gently and it comes out completely in one piece. And now let's go ahead and begin removing all of the small parts left on the frame. So let's remove the front camera assembly here. There's your front selfie uh, camera. Let's go ahead and remove the ear speaker. So uh, with something solid, let's go ahead and pry up on it to release the adhesive and pull it out. Next up is the vibrator motor. So we're going to need a thin solid prying tool to get under it to be able to pry up and release it. One more thing that we're going to need to remove is this bracket up here. This is for the proximity sensor and it comes off fairly easily. And there we have it. Your Samsung Galaxy S9 is completely taken apart. So once you're ready, just go ahead and place everything back together in reverse order. So once you're ready, let's go ahead and place the back cover back on the phone. So first we're going to need to connect the fingerprint scanner flex cable. So position it correctly on top of the connector and press it down until you feel it click. There we go. So that one connected. And then all we have to do now is position the back cover right on top of the phone. Position the corners first so that it aligns correctly and then push it down on all the sides give it some pressure so that it can glue back down to the housing of the phone please keep in mind that after doing this your phone's waterproof rating will not be valid anymore so this was just a quick video on how to take apart and replace the lcd glass screen assembly on your samsung galaxy s9 all right, everyone, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps the channel out a lot. And as always, I will see you around in the next video. Peace. Ciao.